When you're drawing cartoons or creating your own cartoon characters, one of the most important things is style. Your own style, your own gimmick. You know, lots of cartoonists have created their own style, something about their drawings that has their own trademark. They may give their characters big noses or funny-shaped heads or even make them weird colours. Now, it's great fun to do. Just try it yourself. Just pick one strange feature and try to draw lots of characters using that one gimmick. So, OK, here's a gimmick. How's about all my characters have sticky-out, poppy-out eyes? So let's see if it works. Let's see if it works for a horse. OK, there's the sticky-out, poppy-out eyes. And let's draw the rest of the horse around the eyes. Put in some ears there. And... <laughs> see, it's starting to create a character unlike any other character you've seen, actually. <laughs> it's just quite funny. Let's bring the legs round here. So doing something like this, doing something like your own gimmick, it forces you into a certain style. There you go. Look at that. Yep, that works. Brilliant. OK, let's try it with something else. Let's try it... Let's try it with a dog. There's the sticky-out, poppy-up eyes. And I think I'm going to give the dog a real shaggy coat. Ah. And there's his mouth. I'm just going to do his tongue hanging out the side there. What about his ears? OK, so there's the eyes. I've got to put the ears here now. Still shaggy. Look at that. <laughs> and I'll give him four paws down here. Like that. And he's on all fours, this dog. And there's his tail sticking up again, a shaggy tail. So that works. And they look as if they're from the same family almost. OK, let's see if it works with something more obscure. How's about, oh, I know, let's try a shark. Let's see if this works. This is more difficult. I've never seen a shark with sticky out eyes of you. See, round there like that. And put his tail in. And a fin there, another fin there. And I'm just delaying it and playing for time here because I don't know whether this is going to work. Let's see. You never know if it's going to work right till the end. Watch this. Brilliant, yeah. So not only does it work well for all of the characters, but they all look as if they have their own style because they all have the same gimmick. So, OK, let's try it again. Let's see if the gimmick works with cartoon people. Here's the eyes. I'm quite pleased with that. It's good. Good idea, that. Poppy out eyes. Here's the sticky out eyes. <laughs> let's see if it works for people. So I'll start by drawing a little girl. There she is. Let's see. Now, these should all look as if they come from the same family because they've got the same gimmick. Now, what shall I do with the hair? I'm just going to do it out there like that. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, that's good. OK, let's try the little boy. See what happens there. Again. <laughs> give him goofy teeth like that. And let's see. What shall I do on his head? I know. I'll give him a, a baseball cap there on the back. Yeah, they look as if they're brother and sister. That's good. Let's see if it works with an older person. There you go. Give him a nice droopy face. A uh, couple of lines around his nose. Like that. Let's see if this works. <laughs> it's great. It's really good fun to do this because you don't know how they're going to come out. Just invent a gimmick. It's brilliant. I think I'll give him some glasses there. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> it works well, all with this funny gimmick. The eyes are all popping out of their heads. Brilliant. Great fun to do. Try it yourself. Invent your own gimmick to create cartoon characters in your style. Oh, what a great art attack. Invent your very own style, like eyes that pop out, and use this on all your cartoon characters. Hey, I did something a bit like that yesterday. Do you want to see it? I call it... Eyes popping out of the hay. Eyes popping out of the hay. Get it?